Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another Full Game Recap. Uh, once again, doing rags, uh, playing New England Patriots as my offense. Got about 10 different formations I could jump into. Money plays, Renzo plays. So if you guys want to see that, just go to my Patreon. Um, also, on defense, I'm still struggling, guys. I'm trying to find um, basically a defense that, I can, that fits my mold. I'm a heavy pressure type person. I find pressure is good. I want to make people make fast reads and fast decisions. And I still am working on that right now. Now, I think I might have settled in on a defense uh, moving forward, but we'll see. Um, one of the challenges with this game is that user ability is not the same what it used to be um, and uh, basically you know before you used to get a lot of auto uh, animations that would actually go ahead and, and, and catch balls look at this animation right here I'm in the in position where there to go ahead and, and tackle he, throw, he throws the ball right at me and I actually got a pass interference penalty I haven't seen that in years man it just hasn't been something I've seen a lot uh, so I, I'll be very frank with you guys this guy is not a very good uh, man and player um, uh, but uh, I wanted to go, it was actually a good player to go against because I just wanted to go ahead and, and test different processes or different defenses against this guy. And I did have a couple opportunities. So right here, uh, I'm running with the 43 even formation. This basically gets the linebackers down on the line. You've also got a middle linebacker, and I'm basically blitzing the house, and I'm just playing um, the the, the, the sidelines and actually using over the middle. So this is a defense that this guy actually started struggling with. I still haven't really figured out how to have a very effective setup, but you can see right here the pressure comes up the middle. He doesn't make a read fast enough. Uh, this guy was not necessarily the best per or person to do this, but you can see the pressure just comes off double A gap. You don't block that running back. One of those guys are going to come in. So this is something that was running. So fourth and ten situation, I go ahead and overthink myself. I don't kind of send the pressure against this guy. Hits me right over the middle because I get myself full out of position and gets a, a conversion on a fourth, a fourth and ten situation. So you're putting your opponent in fourth down situations. That's uh, the ideal thing to be, be doing on defense. You definitely want to be, be doing that type of situation. Um, so uh, I'm, 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 I'm not necessarily mad about that, but that's, the, that's you know, those, those are defensive things. So right here, the pressure comes off the edge. I think he blocked his running back, but you can see the Cleo Mack comes off the edge and actually takes a really good angle and gets to him real quick. Uh, this guy was dropping a, a lot of screen plays on me. Uh, and with McCaffrey, he's going to break a lot of tackles, so that worked out for him right here. So third and sixth situation, once again, dialing up the blitz uh, right here. Pressure just comes in fast. He has to get rid of it, uh, and I'm able to go ahead and get him in a fourth and sixth situation. So um, I think right here I stay with the aggressive blitz, but I'm in, he was hitting a lot of slants, so I actually put a spy over the middle with the, with the, assu the assumption that the spy is going to go ahead and play something over the middle. He doesn't react. <clears throat> he catches the ball but drops it, and as a result, I actually go ahead and get a turnover and downs. I was actually very frustrated with that type of situation uh, because he caught it because it's just playing this game now um, defensively. It's just so frustrating because your defenders don't. It's like they get stupid in fourth downs and third downs. So right here, got five minutes uh, going into the second half. I'm getting the ball in the second half in the second quarter so i'm just thinking milk the clock get the ball down if i gotta sell for three just don't leave this guy any time uh he doesn't really have that that impressive of, of, of an offense uh and if i you know if i'm just gonna hit the pressure against him and all that kind of stuff but if i can go up by two scores going into the fourth quarter that's an ideal situation so did a little uh power row right here but i do want you to notice he was playing defensive lineman um on the line now that's usually indicated that you're not playing against a good player because if you do play the defensive line, um, you're, you're getting yourself caught up in blocking when it comes to running, so the running game. So you can see right here, actually, he got himself out of position with that. Um, and you're, you're not leveraging um, a middle linebacker or safety in a running game. So I was just pretty much carving this guy up and down the field. Um, and a lot of it, I think, is just because he was using um, his defensive lineman, which is... You never want to do that uh, if you're playing this game. Defensive linemen, you know, maybe you guys do. I don't know. Do you, any of you guys use your, your linemen on a regular basis? Share it with me. Share it down in the comments below. I just find that uh, all the top man and players either middle, use linebackers or safeties defensively because they want to make plays uh, against the ball in the air. And with a lineman, you really can't do that. Uh, so right here, I dial this guy up. i got 12 seconds left. Look at that. I just completely chewed the clock against this guy, getting the ball in the second half. Hit him. I dialed up uh, one of my uh, plays that I like to use down in the red zone. Back of the red zone is wide open. Defender actually does not carry with Robinson. I'm able to go ahead and dial up a touchdown. Going into the second half, getting the ball back. So, so he had a possession, got it down to the red zone. 
um, missed out on an opportunity to put some points on the board because uh, he went for it on fourth down. I don't know. That just once again, just not a smart player, not a very good player, uh, making no separate decisions um, in, on a first possession. Um, and right here, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and hit this guy. So I hit a little run uh, with the outside with a triple option. He, he, he didn't react to the ball correctly. And I think this guy was running a lot of uh, type of zone coverages right here. Actually, he floats up in zones. I take off with Trubisky. Slide right here. Just get five yards. It's fine. I just want to keep the ball. I want, I want to keep the chains moving. I just want to keep the, the ball right here. Uh, he's caught up on my blockers. Go ahead and take off Trubisky. Look at this, this this move right here. I'm trying to slide. Look, he puts his hands up like, hey, man, you know, YMCA. I don't know what the hell he was doing right there, but I almost got an ugly play right there because I was trying to slide, and somehow I got an animation where he actually put his arms up like that. That was crazy. I saw a lot of crazy things in this game. So power roll off to the right side, hit the angle right there, hit the hole perfectly, be able to go and pick up a nice big run right there with, with Tree Cohen. Backside, one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'm going to go hit the fade stop. Always a good I love that play. It's one of my favorite plays in this game. Back to the inside zone. He sets the edge, shuts that down. So uh, for a second and 14 type of situation, I'm looking at the running back all the way because it's a man and the zone beater, unless it's hard zones. If it's flat zones, basically we can hit the next level. But underneath, you're going to basically clear that out. And you're going to give yourself a good, like, you know, it looks like nine yards right there. So I audibled into an inside zone, but look at the clock right now. Jo going into the fourth quarter, I basically got the ball and have marched all the way down to the fourth quarter. And this guy is in, he's in a he's in a tough situation because if I go up by two scores, he's going to have to score and go do an onside kick. Right here, um, he he ran commit and got himself out of position. So I'm going to go and hit him with uh, this money uh, play down in the red zone. Flat was wide open. The def the switch wasn't on. And I'm going to go ahead and take the ball and put it into, into the end zone. And this guy was done. Uh, he just knew he was outmatched and he actually quit out. Uh, so I'm able to go and pick up a victory. So, uh, guys, uh, I'll be working on that 43 defense. I'm going to see if this is going to be a suitable defense. It looks pretty stout against the run, um, but I'm going to I'll work on that and see if I get it. And I'll be rolling this out to my patrons and to you guys shortly once I feel a little bit more comfortable with it. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support. Until next time.